Hi there. Welcome to my uh, channel. I fix my car myself. And yet another video. The video today will be about this. Rear axle dimension. There are uh, already a lot of video on how to shorten a Dana 60. In my case, it is too short. I have to make it longer. Anyhow, here are the numbers. And I checked, it, it's correct. The Dana 60, the nine and three quarter in E body should have a measure of 56.5 from flange to flange and 46 inches from leaf spring support to the center of next leaf spring support. Those are the numbers. I also want to know what's the measure from the center of the leaf spring support to the flange, because I want to check if that's correct on this axle. I'm gonna move the camera over there uh, so that you can see what kind of situation we have there. But first, unlucky for me, my measure is in centimeters. I have to convert the inches to centimeters before I can start measuring. Fortunately for me, I have a calculation machine and that will help me do this calculation. I'm just going to move the camera so that you can see what's going on here. So here it is, Mr. Odner's calculating machine. This was calibrated in, in 1963. There was a note on it. So I guess we can trust it works every time. So let's say um, every inch is 2.54 centimeter so we have to convert 56.5 inches so 56.5 times 2.54 so let's start one two and then we move this one step one, two, three, four, five. We move it another step. One, two, three, four. And there you have the result. 143.5 centimeters. And here you can see 56.50 times 2.54. I hope you can see the number. They are somewhat um, not too strong, but and the result is 143.5. 143.5. Now we have to convert 46. We have to zero and 46 inches, exactly 46 times 2.54 we back it three steps so we have one two move it one step for continuing one two three four five one step further one two three four and there we have a measure of 116.8 116.8 here we have the axle and we have our measures uh, i usually lift it up on this hoist it, it makes it very easy to work with the axle i think so uh, again the numbers 143.5 so we are going to measures make measure from one flange to the other it should be 
just gonna eyeball it and it is I would say 138 38 and a half maybe we are like five centimeters short that's about two inches two inches are missing here Uh, from flange to flange it should be 116 46 inches I know I measure now across the hump and that's not correct but well we have 118 not too far away the strange thing is this axle has been shortened but in this end it works rather fine let's try with one axle the bearing is, is going in on the other side however they're not that lucky let's say we don't want it all the way in so what happens There it is all the way in and it is some 45 but if we want to have some room in there some clearance it should be something like that and there is 50 millimeter and it's about two inches and that those are the two inches that was missing in the whole length so somehow this axle is shortened but it is too short and it looks like most of the shortening is done on that side I know they are supposed to be shorter on one side because the it's not really in the center it's somewhat to, to one side but anyhow I don't know what kind of axle you would fit here it's not for sure not an E body, not a B body, maybe an A body axle would fit there. Maybe. But what I will do, is that I will remove these parts, the supports, cut it and have a, a guy make a small a distance to put in here exactly this width and weld it back together that's about the situation we have and what's going to happen So what I will do now is I will start with the angle grinder to cut off these.
So, so here we are. Uh, I have removed the, the leaf spring support and the axle is a little bit bobbly. There are some damages to it. Some that I made, some that was there before. I will have to repair that. Um, now I need to decide where to cut the axle. I would like to do it here because then I would, it would not be so visible. Uh, but I need to cut it somewhere here because I need part of it where it is still uh, in a good shape because I will have to attach three pieces of, of, of metal here and I need to do it in the part where the axle is still rather okay where the surface is okay if I do it too far away in this side that will give me not so good guidance um, so I prefer to do it somewhere here I will use a thin sheet of paper, some masking tape, this is a very very simple old technique, you just align the, the pieces of paper, the edges, so that they are perfectly aligned with each other. And that will be a good edge. I use some paint to make my marking. Something like that. It doesn't really matter. Something like this. Yeah, that it's edges well visible there so that will be fine
We are going to test it now. The surface here is, uh, I would say, dead uh, 90 degree to this angle. It means this is the same. So let's try and see. So this is, we'll pull it out a little bit. This is what is missing. About two inches.